Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. No tsunami warnings or watches were issued for Guam after last night's earthquake. National Weather Service meteorologist Chip Gard says the distance between our island and Alaska was too great for any major threat. Even an 8.2 at that distance probably isn't going to create a destructive tsunami here. So we were more concerned about strong currents. But it poses the question, is Guam ready if a tsunami strikes? Guam Homeland Spokesperson Jenna Bloss says the reaction time can range from a few hours to just a matter of minutes. If it's a locally generated earthquake, something that happens very close by, um, you might only have even a couple minutes. If it's an earthquake that happens very distant, um, we have birds of five to ten hours to prepare. It was in 2009 that Guam received a grant from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration to launch a tsunami education campaign. This included evacuation route signs installed throughout the island. And after major disasters occurring closer to home in American Samoa and Japan, security has been amped up even more. The biggest misconception here is that tsunamis won't happen here on Guam, especially since we have the reef surrounding us. We have the largest trench, the Marianas Trench, um, and unfortunately that's not the case. It, although tsunamis can be extremely rare, it definitely can happen here on Guam. Residents are urged to have preparedness plans in place and to familiarize themselves with tsunami warning signs, all of which can be found at ghs.guam.gov. In 2015, the Guam Homeland Security installed 15 sirens to signal tsunami warnings. In the event of a tsunami, residents should follow evacuation signs to higher ground. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Kiani Mediola. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.